Big Mike coming up, and uh, Big Mike, Logan, and Mac are not doing well. Hi, Mike. Here we go. Let's get into the impulsive. Josie. Josie. Oh, my God. Josie, look at that. Why did you say that? Because of the song and Josie Logan's girlfriend's name. and Seiko. Mini, mini nips. Oh my God. So this is big. Uh, a lot of people are talking about uh, Big Mike being a hypocrite with this Takashi 6 9 it thing. It swept the nation. Swept the nation. So this is great, but that's just the beginning. Um, we all know, I think we've seen this before on our show. We've been following Big Mike. Hey, Big Mike, for a long time. Uh, he went out of his way. To say if Takashi Six Nine was ever on this show, he would sit out. Do you know Takashi Six Nine, the snitch? And somebody made a good point. Uh, I gotta wait for her to get back. Charles, hurry up! Sorry, Who made that hard point hard. this morning about snitches? Who were we listening to about that? Just get back in the seat. Uh, who was talking about snitches? Oh, Ethan Klein was talking about it, and I've said it before too. When uh, Six Nine snitched all of america thought they lived inside of a jay-z song they were all acting like big mike when they went dude you never snitch on someone you never these are criminal these are people killing people and stealing and robbing why aren't we telling on them this is not good people you know there's no why is that cool to you uh, and wait till you see. I hope we have what Ethan Klein said about big mike do you coming want that after first? this no we'll, we'll do it afterwards I've got it um so Big Mike made this big deal about Takashi Six Nine as well as the whole internet. You know, a lot of he's a snitch. I can't believe it, guys. He snitched on like seven Latino murderers. Who cares? <laughs> they're they're not other rappers that you like. They're literally like illegal immigrant criminals. Who cares? I mean, that's the craziest one to me. They're like Takashi Six Nine. You will be in jail for two hundred year sentences. Okay, double 200 year sentences. Unless you tell us if Pedro Zamirez ever killed anyone. And you're like, man, I barely know Pedro. Um, It's either 200 <laughs> years in prison or I talk about a guy if he killed someone who I'm not even really friends with. I mean, are you crazy? What kind of I mean, fantasy life are you living? Anybody in? would do it. It's anyone not who's like pretending like they would take a. Fi it was actually forty-seven years, and anyone who's pretending yeah. like they would do forty-seven, 47 years, years to, to not tell anyone, on some fucking like stupid not your family member, your best friend. It doesn't make any sense. So, but people like lived in this fantasy and this delusion where they're like, dude, I would never snitch on Well, they on think any that it sounds like they're a street guy. Yeah, well, listen, they got it confused. Like, you never snitch on your best friend or your family. But these weren't Takashi Six Nine's best friends or family members, were they? I don't know, but I And even if they not. were, a family member to Six Nine is like a guy I don't even know to me. I mean... <laughs> You know what I mean? He's got a lot of cousins. They've got a lot of cousins. Like, I've got one cousin. Takashi 6 9 like, everyone in Mexico is his cousin. So it doesn't really count. So it's, you got to get over this. I would never. And by the way, you're the same people who can't hear any racial jokes anymore. But you're okay with people who kill people and rob? You won't tell the police on people who kill, but you report everyone tw on Twitter? And you ban, you want people's comments deleted. You can't even handle comments, but you can handle a guy killing somebody. And But I would never snitch on them, man. What are you talking about? All you do is report people all day. And Big Mike likes to bring up that he's like, I've been in the position to snitch on people and I never would. But it's like, well, then why aren't you in jail for 47 exactly. years? If, yeah, exactly. Obviously, it wasn't that big of a deal. These people the are really, and it's in. like the creepiest fantasy that you could have. And nobody, like... People are like afraid to tell them it's a fantasy because there's a lot of like tough guys, gangster guys who believe this. And so you Mike don't want to. the king of that. So um, it really is the fool's delusion. And who, again, who cares about some fucking dirtbag gang member? <laughs> we should have an allegiance to him.
For what? I mean, he's basically like a fly, like a, a, imagine like, oh man, I really gotta, you know, not disrespect this fly here. You know, I just, I would never want to hurt his feelings. It's gonna die. It's gonna die in a day. <laughs> you, it's fine. You can make fun of it. So the second black. that they announced the six that six nine was coming on impulsive, everybody immediately started clipping Big Mike saying that he would never yes. do the podcast and all of his hypocritical and thank comments. Thank God, because we thought we were the only people. Like when we saw six nine was going to be on the show, immediately we go, "What? Mike said he would never sit across from six nine. Luckily, everyone remembered that. Finally, sometimes they don't. Yeah. You know, sometimes the internet just. Let like Tana and all these people really get away with murder. So a lot of the times we think, yeah, we might be the only one who sees it. Like Joe's drunk driving. Nobody else said anything about that. So we always assume that, you know, we're going to be the only ones. Luckily, everyone picked up on it. So much so that Logan had to theme his vlog around yeah. it because every post about 6 9 it couldn't be ignored. Everything so was about Mike. This was a huge problem because everybody knew that Mike said that he would never do a show with 6 9 but they got the opportunity because 6 9s promoting uh, his new album. And, and by the way, I love 6 9 now. He's actually know, way he's cooler dork. than any of these other people, and I can prove it. Um, I really like him, and now all of a sudden I like his music more because <laughs> I like him. Isn't that That's interesting? That's how it happens. And th this is not music. Wish yeah. it was better, for sure. But, but he's very we'll similar to me. It. I would say me and 6 9 are very similar. Like, I would probably act like he does if I came from a Latino family <laughs> of any sort. Even a rich Latino family, That's I would still act like him if I were the race. So uh, <laughs> uh, my, everybody knows it was a big problem. So Logan Paul had to address this and this was a big problem in the household let's watch logan's vlog did we just watch it start to finish i put it at the part to start oh 52 yeah there's i don't want to show josie these people to start jacking off she's cute at her sports body so let's uh let's watch Six nine, we'll be sitting where you're sitting right now. <laughs> you're lying. Nah. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Can I be here? Guess will Jacob. be sitting there, and his name Mac. is Six Nine. Wow. Yeah. And you know who else didn't show up for the Six Nine show? My buddy Mac. We'll get to you in a second. Look at this guy. He's as nasty as a copper penny. Is it? You know? He's like licking a copper penny. That's what he reminds me of. Look at this guy. So he wouldn't do it either. Let's continue. So Logan, remember, they're not like owning anything here. They're having to do this vlog because Mike specifically went on this rant. And do they play it in this video? Yeah, I, okay. I had all these clips combined of Mike saying this But they stuff, play it all but in they this. Play it all okay, here, let's so. just watch. You're going to love this. <laughs> and yo, there's another part of the puzzle too. You can sit in my chair because I'm not doing it. Uh oh. Wow. Yeah. Mike, you have to. You have to. That I can't be on the show with a rat, dude. Have you talked? I can't be on the show with a rat. This is like the biggest con man in U.S. history. Okay? He'll say anything to scam people out of their money, but a rat is where he draws the line because he heard it in some 90s hip hop. Okay? And I would go as far to say he might even be acting in this video because he's he saw all of the comments and he's doing this performance of a guy who changed his mind. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean by I that? I think so too. I think there's a lot of performative stuff here, but the truth of the matter is, is what you're going to see him say on that old show. Um, you know, and he was serious. He never thought this day would come. That's why he could say all this stuff. Talk shit about him in the past. A lot. This mother has, this would be like what you're about to see. This would be like if everything you heard about me say about ads, I said, and then all of a sudden some big company wanted to pay me $10 million and I just did it and then came up with And an then excuse. you guys called Mike out and then he went, oh, I just changed my mind. It's yeah, just mature. Exactly. <laughs> there are some things that you say that it's like a cornerstone of your personality and that's why we're here. And if you break those things without a proper explanation... Uh, well, then you're a bad person. You're a con man. And that's what Mike's doing. And luckily, about 60% of their audience picked up on this. He's in a heap of trouble here. Watch this. Too. You can sit in my chair because I'm not doing it. 
I'm what? not doing wow. the show, yeah. Mike, you have to, you have to. That I can't be on the show with a rat, dude. Have you talked shit about him in the past? A lot. This mother <laughs> has deemed it cool to be a snitch. You know, deep down <laughs> in your heart, there's no way you're listening to that shit because you're like, yo, this is a hot song. Can you imagine telling Jay-Z and Nas and Biggie that this was rap? Yeah, now the garbage nice men are the people that run the rap. He said he comes on this show, I sit that episode out. <laughs> Do you plan on like pressing him? Like, are you gonna try to make him walk? I plan to just ask questions, but not loaded. So here you go. This is before the podcast. Here's my. This guy is such an enemy that I don't even think I could cover him. His name is George Janko. If you ever see him, spit on him for me. <laughs> okay, that's a direct order. If this is the courts, read the disclaimer. It's a direct <laughs> joke. It's a direct joke. Okay, this is Big Mike. Look what he's saying. I plan on like pressing him a little, like are you gonna try to make him walk? I plan to just ask questions, but not loaded questions. Good. Actual questions. Why do you feel the need to talk shit and then run behind your bodyguards? Like does that make, how does that make you feel? <laughs> like what, no, 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 no. Well, I can't ask that question. There's one rule when it comes to like no matter what happens, you never snitch. I wouldn't snitch That's the only guys. rule, it doesn't matter. matter. Whatever happens, you don't snitch. That's the only rule of the streets. <laughs> Mike is from the streets, he believes. You know, he did drunk, uh, drugs twice in eighth grade and rode around in a shitty car with a kid from the poor section of town for like a week. And now he really feels like he's from the streets. You know, he might have lived two months of like a kind of negative, like bad kid's life. Everybody's done that. Like anybody worth anything hung out with the bad kids for a couple of weeks and went, you know, like. Saw them like beat up a guy. But a couple he times. truly probably believes that he is from the street. Well, or he whatever. loves this story. Believe me, um, you know, I there's not a single person. I I get letters written to me, dude. I grew up a block away from Mike. He comes from a rich house. He was not in the streets. It's not the streets. You know, I mean, you were. If you're he rich, was just no, no, no. This is what it was. He was just hanging out with the baddest kids from his neighborhood. That's it. Yeah. That's not the streets. That's not the streets. You just hung out with like the shittiest kids from your town. Everybody has them. Every high school, every town has the bad kids that Who beat up and do drugs and... and steal. And you hung out with those kids. And instead of just being like, I was a shithead thief in high school. It was this, oh man, I was on the streets. I got sucked into that lifestyle. You didn't. It's all nice white kids. You know, even Breaking Bad, those kids on Breaking Bad are way worse than you. Jesse Pinkman. And his <laughs> yeah. If Jesse Pinkman didn't get involved, just the hangout space. <laughs> Big Mike had it cushier than Jesse Pinkman. You know, way cushier because they didn't get involved in any big time deals or, you know, those two Mexican guys. <laughs> even if you were bro, 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 David, I'm going to say it this way. What? What'd you got? You didn't sign up for the gang life. That's what I'm saying. The gang life signed up for yeah. you. Wow. These guys left alone to their own stupidity is just something wonderful. Look at this. I like when Logan discovers something, but it's always a cliche. <laughs> like he's like, I didn't pick the gang life. And Logan goes, what? What'd you got? You didn't sign up for the gang life. That's what I'm saying. The gang yeah. life signed up for yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and it's like, you see how that came to you, Logan? It didn't come to you because you're a genius and you tuned in to this new thing. It came to you because you've heard it a million times, you fucking idiot. And you just forgot. The gang life's getting to you. Oh, I should write a book. That's it. Yo, bro, I just wrote a book, so maybe. This is the best driving gig I've ever had. Hired to drive Logan's bus and now they just let me hang, bro. This is a retarded lifestyle in this Janko. Dude, if I got into him, I think this is too negative for I the mean, show. I mean, we're going to talk about him a bit today. Yeah, but I mean, we can't. This is for my own health. I can't. <laughs> I can't. This is one of those guys that just, I don't feel like making fun of him. I just feel like beating him up. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. Yes, he can no. What? No. what? No. You, you, you Yep. Oh. You see his movement? Do you see that guy's anyone who acts like that in any capacity? He's the next Sebastian Maniscalco. Do you see his movements? 
and they were all laughing. You know who knows that this is bullshit? Bro, if I wasn't getting paid to be here, man, nah, this ain't it. Yeah. He knows. Helicopter head control truck. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are those? What are you doing? <laughs> rat traps, bro. Oh my god. Like so Mike bought rat traps. See, this is all fun and games, but he didn't do any of this stuff when 6 9 came on. Spoiler alert. Mike was gonna put rat traps around. Uh, do you wanna be killed? 6 9 like killed a man for dissing him on Instagram with a <laughs> poo face emoji once. Do you remember? Guys, uh, we could probably get 6 9 to want to kill Mike if we like all message 6 9 and be like, dude, because 6 9 doesn't really know. But if you message, like, aren't all 6 9s beefs where he kills people or wants people dead way less than what Mike just said? And Seems what Mike's like doing? It. So it's like, like, 6 9s in a beef with Chief Keith because Chief Keith is like, man, no, nah, man, I don't, no, nah, man, I ain't into that. That's it. And then six nine, he's fucking dead, bro. He's fucking dead. Big Mike has like dissed you so much publicly, and he's putting out rat traps. Shouldn't he be dead? Let's convince six. Is this a rift going over the line here? I mean, really? Remember <laughs> six nine's little IG lives? Yes. He was like, "I will kill you." <laughs> and now it's like Mike's done all this shit. Let's just tell because six nine doesn't know. We'll show you this. What are you doing? They're rat traps, bro. They're just sometimes, like, you have an infestation at your house, bro. Michael. Sure Keith Chief got shot not, by a BB? Bro, he's gonna walk. Save it for the end. Um, man, <laughs> Logan's like, bro, you can't throw rat traps at him. Are you crazy? Like, first of all, it's insane that 6 ix is coming on the show. 6 ix notorious. That's the perfect word for him. He's notorious, right? Notorious. You don't want to really even talk to him because you might end up in trouble. This is like, uh... You know, it's just really a reckless guy. And Mike's sitting there throwing rat and traps. it's like, maybe this is a big deal for Logan. Yeah. And you're also, gonna it's be... like, yeah, you're going to, this is also a giant guy. Why don't guest. you just not do the show like you said you were going to? And you're going to throw rat traps. And by the way, he doesn't throw rat traps. He's doing it for the cameras beforehand. He doesn't even bring he up rat traps. He never does it. No, he doesn't do any of the short. So go. I'll put the rat traps away. <laughs> thank right? you, thank I'm you. sorry, but I swear to God, if I even hear you so much, it starts sucking his dick, bro. I'm gonna flip. Okay, bro. yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. you? F hey, man, I just want to let you know you're one of the most inspirational of the dead. Of the <laughs> you <laughs> say anything like that, I'm flipping. Listen, these guys all love Drake. Drake is way worse of a person than Six Nine. Like Drake all would these snitch in a second. Yes, Six Nine just did. The snitching, but he's not, uh, you know, like there's way worse guy. Like every guy is way worse. Jay-Z is way worse than 6 <laughs> 9 Snoop Dogg, he's put people in the ground. What up, homie? Anyways, you can probably bro? stop it here. Okay. How you doing? Uh, okay, what do we have next? The episode? Yeah, um, you could first read Mike's tweets before the episode. Oh, yeah, okay, Mike's tweets. So this is when everybody's already making fun of him for going back on his word, and he already feels yeah. uncomfortable before the episode has even come out. So he posts this just out of nowhere. Sometimes you just got to laugh at all of it. Is that it? Yeah, but then go to the second one. Okay. This is the first of his multiple explanations. Oh, yeah, wait till you see these explanations. But we're going to show you, you know, everybody kind of knows about this stuff. And we're not going to play this clip. No. In the past, I said I wouldn't do this show. I also said I don't like his music or some of his life choices. While the latter is true, I can't sit out on a show because I disagree with somebody. I can take that on the chin. Podcast with 6 9 tomorrow. Thanks. That's what he says when there he's... There is something that's cool. so shitty. Wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying? It's one it's like it's one thing if you talked all this big shit and then six nine came on the show and you were like, Man, I pussied out. Yeah. I but I then to try to spin it like you're you going back on your word is some kind of maturity. Well you can't thing it, you can't listen. Listen, again, it's That's the like same Denny thing. Level. It's the same thing as me saying ads are evil, ads are bad, and then doing an ad. I can't. Even if I want to, you can't. It's the same thing as if I just said here today how I will not do anyone's podcast, and then if Joe Rogan asked me to do his podcast tomorrow, I did it. I would break the trust with you. It's too deep of a fundamental thing that you've picked to go against. 
So you can't be, and anybody who's followed Big Mike has heard him for months and months and months talk about this rat thing. So you need to stand by that word and make a stance. You have to. Or you have to very perfectly explain why you're doing it. Okay. Um, but you can't just be like, damn, well, but I said all that stuff because I thought he would never come on. You know, it's like all these people in the comments, like on my Joe Rogan clip, they're like, you're telling me you wouldn't fucking take the Spotify deal of 100 I would never be in the running for that because I would never be, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, the true, and this is what blows people's mind. The answer is no. The answer is I wouldn't. That's how crazy you all have become because you'll just do anything. You're just bought and paid for it. You'll do anything. You don't have any standards. You don't have any point. You don't have any reason. You'll do anything. You don't care. Who cares if someone lies? Who cares if they do this? Did you know there's some people who do care? But the people who don't care don't even realize that. They don't even think that it's a possibility. <laughs> and you're going to hear you some know. of that here today. Yeah. Um, this is what you're going to see. And you know who agrees with me? You know who you're going to hear who's on the same side of me? 6-9. Six, 6-9. Nine. Six, nine. And... Um, He's actually pretty cool. You know, you need a couple cool people. If everyone acted like 6 9 the world would be terrible. If everyone acted <laughs> like me, the world would be terrible. But you need a couple of these guys. It's like, um, it's like drugs. If everyone was taking LSD, the world would be terrible. But a few people should be taking it because, you know, it's very cool. All right. <laughs> it's uh, you need a 6 9 they're trying to talk 6 9 out of being 6 9 It's actually uh, the part of this whole story. But it's the part of the whole story that nobody's talked about. And I think it's uh, disgraceful. We're going to start at the beginning, 25 seconds in. Let's just hit it. Or go to 25 seconds because they do the intro. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. 6 9s actually really cool. He's still a fool. But he's at least somebody's doing it because everybody's been bullied out of just being themselves. Watch this. I think we're going, yeah. Here we are, yeah. Ah. I guess. Yo, how you feeling? Chilling. Chilling? Chilling. I'm tired. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fucking, um, just understand this industry. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 figure, thing, you figure anything out? Because this last weekend you dropped your album. Yeah. You've been crazy with that? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Fucking um, Tattletales came out uh, Friday. Tattletales. Um, and just trying to, you know, trying to beat the industry once again. Yeah, no, I know. I saw I saw you a little frustrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, frustrated. Frustrated. What, what, so what's I might get all this 6 9 tattoos all over me, and too. And see, like, he came on the podcast within five seconds of coming on. He has a message that he wants to yes. say, and he's already talking about it and spreading it. You know, you don't have to agree with the message. It's like Kanye West. You just want to see somebody doing this because there's so few people doing this. You know, just being themselves no matter what the cost or the consequence. And it's really crazy, and it's a shame that it's so refreshing. It's a shame. Because uh, you'd think more people would do it. Really, almost 98% of people have been bullied out of doing anything funny or cool anymore. You know, when you think back to... You think back to all the award shows, all the live TV we've had. Who's actually taken a risk and done something crazy on live TV for the fun of it? Kanye. Kanye. And can you think of really many other people who've done it? And you sit there and you go, you know, if I was at this award show, the MTV Awards, you've, you're on the stage in front of all these people. Why not say something? Do something. Everybody's but instead, watching. they just go, I just want to thank oh, my manager and uh, I want to thank you guys so much. God bless. Uh, uh. No one has anything creative or funny or cool or only Kanye West. George Bush does not care about black people. I'm going to let you finish, but Beyonce had the best music video of the year. That's it. And then who else has done anything where you go, whoa, we want to see people say crazy shit in front of giant crowds. No one is willing to do it anymore. There's not any person. That's pathetic. Out of all the millions of people in this world, everyone's afraid to just do something that's hysterically entertaining. How long are they going to talk about the Taylor Swift thing? And you know why? Because there's nothing, there's no other incidents to talk about. 
<laughs> no one will do anything. So I applaud people who at least do something. Even if I don't agree with it, you at least did something. Like Laura Loomer, at least you have some balls. Seriously. You did something. It's pretty epic. Do something epic. Say something epic for once. <laughs> it's not that hard. You got to be a real pussy to not. And you're going to see that today. It's crazy. What's happening? You're basically like shadow banned and... Nah, all right. So basically, if you open up your phone, if you open up your phone and go into like Apple Music, right? I'm gonna, and do, it, I'm gonna do it right now. Do it right now, so sweet. so we could get it from <clears throat> two angles, right? right? Man, I love. Look what he's wearing. This fucking smock. You know that everyone would make he's just fun a of. Over his shoulders, well, but still. it looks crazy. I mean, look at him. He looks crazy. And you know what? Now I'm starting to respect that because you show your face, you look crazy, and you go, "I don't care if you think it's gay. I don't care if you think this. We need a couple people like that. You know." I almost want to get my hair done like this with all the colors like this and grow it out, put it in a giant. I might. You could get a couple That wigs. should be my haircut because I was trying to get a cool haircut. This is so square, you know, and I was saying, should I get Pusha T's haircut, you know, and you said, no, they'll all make fun of it. What if I got an exact, literally grew it out and made it like legit. I think you should just Six, get a nine. bunch of wigs and then you Not can change wigs. it every That's episode. too easy. If I actually grow out dreads and put it in a bun with all sorts of. That might be something. Somebody needs to do it. <laughs> if you open up Apple Music right now, you go to top browse. What do you, what's the first? Okay, thing well let's we're top. gonna skip ahead, right? Yeah. Let's uh, go. You could go to five minutes in where you can already see Big Mike about to crack. Okay, so Big Mike is here. Let's see how he acts. Now Mac is not here. Mac refused to do the episode. That's why they have George Janko. Look at this little granny. You know, he's so fucking he cute. Is I love his so, little smile. I'm telling you, this is the cutest guy. There is no reason to hate him. Anyone who made fun of him is such a boomer square. He is the sweetest, nicest guy. And uh, I just want to lay around with him on the couch all night, <laughs> laughing and having a great time. Remember the whole thing with the Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande? I remember, yeah, yeah. And I came home. He's great. That week, what was the biggest thing you you couldn't open up your phone without seeing Takashi Six Nine? You couldn't. Right. You you Bro, couldn't. Fast. It wasn't possible. Like if I'm lying, correct me. That, no, that was that was that was right when you got out. When right? I first that was, got out and yeah. I came I home with Gooba, yeah. could you possibly open up your phone without seeing this face? No, it was massive. It was massive. Yeah. yeah. How does not? How does that fucking record not get number one? <laughs> does do you think? All right. That, all right matter of yeah, fact, what was the bigger record? Gooba We're playing. or when Tusi Slide released? It, it depends on what the metric is for success. Do you look at YouTube numbers and streams? No, streams, 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 so, streams. So if that's the biggest metric, then Gooba was, did Gooba stream more than Tusi Slide? Yes, first week. So, then, yes. so it just depends on what your metric is for success. So then I, I'm Listen, just curious like, why we'd even be looking at the sales when we know the marketing genius that you are when it comes to YouTube and streaming. You know oh, what I'm so saying? Like, why you even, oh, he's genius. a marketing genius now. I thought he was just a rat and you're going to throw traps at him. It's only been you're five a marketing minutes. Genius. If I ever see you kiss his ass, I'm out of here. Remember you said that to Logan? But five seconds you're ago. You're a marketing genius. Five minutes in, you're a marketing genius. Okay. I don't even give a fuck what the, what the record sales are. And, and more importantly, Do we keep already... The people that you don't fuck with or that don't fuck with you have shit to say today. I want to know what you want to notice Mike's chain. Mike is wearing what if was real would be, I don't know how many, 60,000 minimum, $90,000 chain here. This giant Cuban link chain covered Ooh, in diamonds. you're under my control. Yeah. <laughs> covered in diamonds. So he's wearing this. Wait till you see this stunt he pulls. Now, if Where you're do we really go next? into Big Mike stuff, I would recommend listening to this whole episode because oh great. yeah, oh it's amazing. I, Let's run through it though because uh, we got a lot more. This isn't uh, the point. We're not just covering this. This is the beginning. But this is a big important part of Big it Mike is. history. Sixteen thirty. Yeah, because this is what really caused the public to see who he truly is. Yeah. So here's Big Mike. Logan was terrified here. Rising as fuck, but it goes to a point where it's like. Imagine if I had the machine. Imagine if I had the fucking uh, Apple Music. You could go on Apple Music and find me at the top. Why don't you do it, though? You know you know what you're doing wrong. Yeah. Qu this is a question. You yeah. know what you're doing wrong. Yeah. At what point, and this is a question I had, and, and you know, and, and, and first of all, I want to say this before we go too much further. I've been horrible to you on this show. <laughs> I know you already fucking heard. Murph, you had to have fucking told Watch me. Watch this. No, I, I, I didn't. Horrible. I, I swear to God, I horrible. had no idea. As, as you had no idea? Send him. I'm telling you, if he heard it, 
he'd be different. <laughs> it's one thing where he's like, I've talked a lot of shit. And he's like, oh, you have? I had no idea. But if he actually heard it, I think he'd be pissed. Send him. Send him the tapes. And Mike knows he has to do this. Don't think Mike's being truthful or forthcoming here. He had to. And I don't think he would have even done this if the internet was yes. all holding him accountable. Oh, yeah. He I would mean, have just pretended he that knew he never this said wasn't, any of that stuff. This wasn't something he could fuck around with. He had to. But, it, uh, you know, it, at the whole end of this thing, he, he fails. So let's keep watching. The only other person in this, <laughs> as the only other person on the show who had the opportunity to snitch and, uh, against felony charges and, and didn't, I'm not saying you, you know, whatever. Yeah. You did your fucking thing. You did what you did. I've been <sighs> outspoken. I've been a fucking asshole. I grew up on Jay, Big, all those guys. Okay. I'm wow. I grew <sighs> up on Jay, Big, and all those guys. You say that to a rapper, they're not like, damn, you know Jay and Big? It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you grew up on Jay-Z and Biggie, so obviously you know that I'm anti-snitch. What are you talking about? And again, if Mike was in the same situation as 6 9 and refused to snitch, why isn't he in jail? We all grew up on Jay-Z and Biggie, and they said a lot of things that we don't all do, okay? Like, really, quote any... Be uh, um, you know, dead wrong by B.I.G. says a lot of things. <laughs> So they also say, I don't snitch. I never snitch. That was cool to say back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't snitch when you're currently in a gang and you're trying to make gang music. That's what you say. But Mike, I grew up on uh, Jay-Z and Piggy, so, you know, we all grew up on it equally, <laughs> okay? So did Mariah Carey fans. And the only reason that you can get away with saying that is because you're hanging out with a bunch of 20-year-olds right now. Exactly. If it was a bunch of people your age, they'd be like, They'd be like, what are you uh, talking yeah, about? Yeah, we know. Yeah, I grew up with 311. That doesn't mean I, uh, what is their song? <laughs> I grew up with Weezer. It doesn't mean I destroy sweaters. You know, I grew up with Pearl Jam. Doesn't mean I, uh, um, it doesn't mean I'm still alive. <laughs> Pearl Jam. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, by the way, it's seven hours and 27 minutes into the show, okay? Seven hours, 27 minutes into the show. Pretty good. One break so far.